Welcome back to the Great Culture. Before we get this video started, I just ask uh, my viewers to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. You know, it's free currency. You know, help support, help support the real on this channel. Anyway, let's get into it. So let's talk about man. I I saw it everywhere. I saw it flooded all the different sites and everything, different politicians talking about it. Apparently, Joe Biden is taking $30 million of taxpayer money to send crack pipes to drug users. Part of a drug uh, part of a drug program to help curb substance abuse and also to fight racial inequality now this is what was told to me this is what I no, not just told but I was reading to I've been seeing guys doing videos and everything about it so you know you know me I gotta I gotta look into it and it's not to discount. Maybe it's something I'm missing. It's not to discount everybody who's been putting out the information or anything like, like that. But, you know, I looked into it myself and I'm not seeing what everybody else is seeing. But then again, you know, most people just go off of headlines. They don't like to dive into the different nuances and details of the situation. Really understand, really comprehend what's going on. So, I think this is just you know, it's, uh, you know, I, I don't, I don't rock with Joe Biden at all. But sound like a smear campaign. Now I could, like I said, if I'm missing anything, I could be wrong. But I look, you know, I looked at the website itself. You know, the Substance Abuse and Mental Health uh, Services Administration. It's a harm reduction grant program. And so, what the program is, you know, meant to do over the uh, course of the next three years, and it should cost anywhere from seven million to twenty-nine million, and that's where the 30, 30 million, you know, rounded up. It should cost anywhere from seven million to thirty million over the next uh, three years to fund this pro to help, uh, you know, will we'll give a boost to the program, to what they already got in store. Now, I've heard a lot of, you know, a lot of you got these, you know, drug centers and different things like that. It's, it's not necessarily crack pipe. And there are, you know, there has been a lot of discussion about the practices and the way to help these drug users. You know, what they do and what this program's doing is doing things, it's providing tools to help curb, you know, different things like uh, dirty needles and passing diseases around, you know, uh, giving hygiene products. At least that's what it says, you know, in the details. Now, like I said, if anybody's got any more stuff on it, you know, go ahead and pass that on this way. But they want to cut down on diseases and stuff like that, AIDS, hepatitis, and stuff like that from people sharing needles when they use drugs so if they are going you know i guess do their thing they can come you know go to one of those uh centers for users and and you know the staff will provide them with at least clean clean products now of course you know a lot of people you know the question that you know takes in taxpayer money and you basically you know uh enforcing well not enforcing but backing what they're doing basically you know uh, uh, condoning it. and I, I don't think that's entirely what it is like I said I don't have a lot of information on how it you know on how it helps people but you know there's you know there's different stories from both sides of the spectrum on the, you know, as far as the pros and the cons of the program, right? 
So, you know, I'm just going to leave it at that. But nowhere in it does it say anything about racial inequality, anything like that. Just says, you know, like I said, uh, uh, it doesn't say anything about uh, a crack pipe. Now, it does say, you know, syringe services and stuff like that. So it does say, you know, about clean syringes or anything like that. But it doesn't. Uh, I, I don't know what tools are really come within the par the kit that they're you know they're talking about but it's a straight up crack pipe man I'm not it ain't uh, you get bending the information man uh, also you know they serving you know um, a drug I think it's called Novoxlone or Nova Noxa Noxalone or something like that it's to help with uh, uh, opium to help with uh, overdosing and everything. So, you know, what this program is supposed to help is with, you know, hygiene, cleanliness, uh, preventing the prevention of infections, the prevention of diseases, and uh, and overdosing. Uh, so, you know, different things like that. So, but just that, you know, you, you got to be careful, man. You gotta be careful, man, when sitting up there views and viewing these news sites, man. And like I said, that the main thing that had you going had me going was, you know, them saying Biden was doing this to combat race the <laughs> racial equality inequality. It's like, what the hell's that got to do with anything? But you know, it's I don't see it anywhere, it's not the truth. Like I said, if anybody's got any more uh, more information on this that does say, you know, where Biden is stating that this, what this does, then, you know, forward that over. But it makes, that would make no sense. And from what everything I've seen, that's not true at all. Uh, like I said, man, uh, uh, I don't like Joe Biden. Uh, the people who, you know, Biden himself, you know, is, is a treacherous motherfucker. Uh, the people who run, you know, the news agencies who uh, run campaign for him or, you know, uh, uh, basically boost him up. They they spread misinformation all day. Sorry, got a call. But uh, where was I? So, yeah, no, these news agencies that are literally, uh, yeah, they... They spread all this misinformation, but at the same time, I would never advocate it. Uh, mis misinformation against that person either. You know, I always want the truth to be brought to the forefront. So that's what it is. That's all. You know, that's all it is, man. And if I'm wrong, I'll say I'm wrong. I'm, you know, I'm always looking to be challenged. Um, but. Like I said, I've seen this spread all around. It's, it's getting, uh, you know, that's the narrative now that he's pushing crack pipes. Uh, they're doing a lot of stuff with our money, man, as taxpayers. They're just doing all type of just, you know, spending it on frivolous things and shit that doesn't matter, man. But we can't take care of the stuff that does, the stuff that we really need. Still ain't got no health care or anything like that. And they have the money to do that. But they'd rather waste it on everything else. Well, man, that's all I got. Like I said, if uh, you got any different information or got anything that can dispute anything that I'm saying in this, please send it through. And I'll definitely uh, make the correction. But uh, until then, man... It's the great culture. Now I'll holler at y'all later.